Hi guys, so I'm here today with my top 10 nude lipsticks. If you know me, you know that I'm like the queen of nude lipsticks. I used to be so much into red lipsticks in the past, like I want to say three, four years ago maybe. But now I'm all about the nude lipsticks. I just feel like they are so me. I found what I like and what suits me. And this super cute pink velvet makeup bag, which I recently got at Tiger. I've uh, collected 10 of my all-time favorite nudes. So if you guys like my taste in makeup or you can relate it, uh, I think this video might be helpful for you. So let's get into it. Okay, which one should I start with? I'm gonna try not to burn myself with this candle as well. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start with this one, which is Rosie for Autograph. Uh, lipstick in Lady Rose. Another thing you might know about me is that Rosie is my biggest style and beauty inspiration. So Lady Rose was created by Rosie, inspired by her natural lip color, and I've always admired her makeup and uh, the shade of her lipsticks, and I've always wanted to achieve that rosy, nudie color, that perfect my lips but better shade. So I'm super happy to have this lipstick, which is basically Rosie's lip color. Super pigmented, not too glossy, not matte, not drying. So this one was my rosy color before this lipstick. I love this one. I think from all of the lip products I own, this is probably my favorite. It's Clinique Chubby Stick in Holada Honey. It's already my second one. It's that perfect browny nude color. It's quite sheer, so you can see the texture of your lips through it, which I like. It looks more natural this way. It kind of looks like a stain when you apply it. I don't know what else to say about this product other than go and get this if you haven't tried it yet. Maybelline Lipstick in Choco Cream. One of the main reasons I love it is because it has such a nice scent and I can never put my finger on what it smells like. It kind of smells like caramel, like brown sugar or vanilla. It just has this super sweet scent. Every time I smell it, it's like it smells edible. It's such a beautiful color. It's a very light nude and a very warm tone nude, kind of like a caramel color. And I know a lot of people don't like it because it's a pretty light caramelly beigey shade, but I think it goes really well with my coloring, blonde hair, fair skin. It's just one of my favorite nudes and it's quite a creamy one. Another Maybelline I'm gonna show you now is a matte finish. And Maybelline matte lipsticks are fantastic. They're non-drying, long-lasting beautiful. So this is in Clay Crush, which is a, a much darker color. It's a very beige color, very browny nude. It doesn't have any pink in it, neither does this. Like both of them are very warm toned, browny, not pink at all. I like this one. It, it kind of is that Kylie Jenner lip look because it is very, very similar to my other favorite, Velvet Teddy from MAC. So I would say this is a perfect dupe for Velvet Teddy if you don't want to spend too much money. And if I had to choose, I would choose Velvet Teddy because the formula is a bit more luxurious. It's very creamy and um, I don't know. I just really like the way it looks on my lips, although they're so similar. But then again, probably most of these lipsticks will look exactly the same to a lot of you. But believe it or not, they're all different to me and I go for a different lipstick depending on my mood or what look I want to go for because I don't know I just know the differences in my head and I probably cannot explain them very well so yeah a beautiful nude velvet teddy highly recommended although it's a very hyped up lipstick that is for a reason it is very beautiful and that kind of um, 90s model look. My other one is by Bobbi Brown. This one is a very creamy lipstick. It is called Creamy Lip Color in Honeysuckle. I love the name because honeysuckles are like one of my favorite scents. Um, and this one is quite similar to the Choco Cream one in that it is a very light nude. So the colors of them are pretty similar. But the Bobbi Brown one is very, very creamy. It's like, I would say it's a very lush texture. It sort of has this plumping effect. It's a tiny bit tacky. So your lips just look plumped up, juicy, very well moisturized and in a gorgeous shade of nude. So I don't know, I, it was a very spontaneous purchase for me. 
but I, I just fell in love with the color and I would highly recommend it. Try this lip creamy lip color range because the texture, the formula is fantastic. It's so moisturizing and comfortable. Another one is by Laura Mercier and it's called Spiced Rose. Now another female inspiration for me is Tanya Burr and I just love Tanya's taste in makeup. I feel like anything she recommends suits me and I enjoy wearing so I really trust her recommendations and this is the lipstick she wore on her wedding day so I thought well it has to be special if Tanya wore it on her wedding day and I immediately had to get it because the color is my cup of tea it's that perfect your lips but better color it's, it's a very warm tone nude I don't like cool tone nudes like milky or pinky nudes they just don't suit me I don't like them so all of my Okay, so I just dropped one of my favorite nude lipsticks ever. Look what happened to it. Well, I'm glad it didn't snap off. I can still use it. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I love this lipstick so much. It's very creamy, it's not a matte texture, and again, just looks beautiful on your lips. Another one, let's do this. This is Burberry lipstick in lip cover lipstick in romantic rose uh, this is a very peachy nude and I love the look of the lipstick that embossed Burberry pattern it just looks very beautiful and the bullet itself just feels very sturdy and uh, very high quality very luxurious and I love how it just twists to its place because it's magnetic but yeah very very pretty shade in romantic rose then I have this tiny lipstick from Clini this is actually a lipstick sample that came with a magazine and this is nude pop Clinique pop lipstick in nude pop I would say this is a pretty rosy pink uh, it's not very beige it's definitely a pink nude and it has like silver micro shimmers I love that it's not too creamy it's just a very lovely texture very comfortable and beautifying on your lips and kind of that my lips but better color because it's very close to like my natural lip color and I also know that Rosie wears this lipstick she posted it on snapchat a little while ago and then I have Kiko Gossamer Emotion lipstick in 104 this one was such a spontaneous purchase for me I've never tried Kiko lipsticks but I wanted to try something nude from their line so I got a matte nude lipstick from Kiko in this one and like a glossy one and I like the matte but I do prefer this one and I just adore the packaging I mean it just it just feels so luxe and and it's very sturdy and well made and gorgeous and doesn't look cheap at all so well done Kiko in the packaging this color is extremely similar to Spice Rose from Laura Mercier, which is completely ruined now. <laughs> very opaque, very creamy, non-drying at all, uh, lasts pretty well on your lips, so I like it a lot. A nice surprise from Kiko because I haven't tried that much of their makeup and this one is a winner for me. Okay, so these are my top 10 lipsticks, however, I want to give an honorary mention to Tanya Burr's new lipstick in coco in pink coco this is what i have on my lips right now the lights are super bright so i don't know how well you can see the color but i'm totally in love with this lipstick it's such a perfect nude color i'm pretty sure it was inspired by her wedding lip color because they are i mean they're identical i don't know i i cannot really tell the difference the perfect nude color it's not too pink it's not too light it's not too brown it's just perfection and uh, i would definitely create something very similar if i were to create my perfect nude so yeah pink cocoa well done tanya it feels very comfortable it's this one it's not it, it's not very creamy it's quite a thin texture and it kind of becomes like a lip stain uh, after a while and I like to rub it in and pat it into my lips for that very natural nude look so these are all of my favorite nude lipsticks give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you soon bye <laughs>